So now I can type in my keywords. So for example, digital nomad. We can use a double quotes to define a phrase in Google. We can also use double quotes here. So without double quotes, 21,000 hits. After using double quotes for around 4,000 hits, there are lots of resources uh, uh, included. So you can, from the left-hand side here, you can limit your search by certain resource type, for example, newspaper articles. And then here articles means magazines and journal articles. You can also limit to book chapters and so on. And then you can apply filters. By default, the search results are sought by relevancy. You can also limit by date. Okay, so if you want to look at the most recent publication first, you can choose newest. From the search result, actually, we can we can limit our search. Okay, so we can apply filters. And then we can also further limit by the um, title. So here you can limit by say New York Times, Washington Post and so on. And what else? Okay, you can also limit by publication date. And then here uh, after I add applied uh, some filters, it appear at the top. So if we don't want a, a, a particular filter anymore, we just click the call sign to cancel the uh, filter. Now let's look at the search results. So we have all these search results and you can see um, full text available, full text available. Let me... So let me say go into two full dimension. Oh, oh, by the way, if you look under subject, and uh, you can further limit that the result by subject. Okay, so there might be different aspects of digital norm that you want to look at, maybe student learning, uh, education at travel related to digital nomad and then uh, uh, whether uh, it is affected by pandemic, COVID and so on. So you can look for extra keywords under subject and then uh, limit your result set as well. Okay, go back to the result. So um, for example, okay, click this one, digital nomads lifestyle and co-work station. There might be full text available from different publishers. So here you can view it online. There is only one source. So you can just click this and go to the full text. Now I'm on campus, I'm inside the library. So it won't ask me for my credential. But actually, this is not a free journal article. This is provided by HKUST library. So you can see our name mentioned here. If you are accessing this article from off campus, when you click this access link, you will be prompted to enter your ITSC username and password for authentication. So to access full text, click the um, view online link. And then there is an extra tool uh, from PowerSearch you can use to help you cite the 
paper. Here you can see the double quote, right? Double quote, you click this. This double quote is not for phrase search. This double quote is for generating citation style. So you have uh, uh, one, two, three, four different styles to choose from. Uh, for this uh, LAN 1003 uh, assessment, you have to cite in APA style. So you choose APA. And then this is the citation style. So you can copy this citation to the clipboard. So very handy tool you can uh, make use of. You can also see the citation icon here. So this is for generating citation. And remember you choose APA style. 